Hello friends. Myself Nickel Ram. In the last video we talked about airfoils. In this video we will see the NACA airfoil series, by the way NACA stands for National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics which develops various types of airfoil for several aircrafts and also for propeller and turbo machinery. NACA airfoils can be designated by NACA digit series which ranges from 4 digit series to 16 digit series which has their own advantages, disadvantages and application that we will be seeing at the end of the presentation. Before going into NACA digit series let's see the basics of airfoil. That is the trailing edge and the leading edge which are forward and aft section of airfoil. Cord. A straight distance between leading and trailing edge. Camber line that runs along the curvature of airfoil camber distance between camber and cord line maximum thickness distance between upper surface and the lower surface of airfoil for every knack digit designation primarily cord length will be taken as a reference and remaining parameters described in percentage of cord length now let's see the knack of four digit series here in these four digits. First digit represents the percentage cord of maximum camber. Second digit represents the percentage cord of position of maximum camber from leading edge intents. Third and fourth digit represents the percentage cord of thickness of airfoil. Let's have an example. If we have an airfoil NACA 2452. This resembles 2% of cord is the maximum camber which is located at the distance of 40% of cord back of the leading edge. Next two digits says the 52% of the cord is the thickness of airfoil. Please note that position of maximum camber is represented in tenths of percentage of cord length, which in above case is 4. That is 40% of cord length. If NACA 4 digit number starts from 0, 0, Take 40012. Then it will be symmetric airfoil. Because if you remember in the last video camber will be not there in symmetric airfoil or camber length will be zero. Only last two digits will be there denoting the thickness of airfoil and percentage of cord length. Now let's see NACA 5 digit series. Which is same as 4 digit but here coefficient of lift is also included. Let's see. Here in this 5 digit, 3 half of first digit gives the percentage cord of maximum lift coefficient. Half of second and third digit gives the percentage cord of maximum camber and position of maximum camber intents. Fourth and fifth digit gives the percentage cord of thickness of airfoil which is same as in the 4 digit series. Once again let's have in another example. NACA 25132. In which last two digit gives the percentage cord of thickness of airfoil 2 into 3 by 2 that is 3 percent of cord is the maximum lift coefficient 5 half of cord will be maximum camber 1 half of cord will be position of maximum camber back of the leading edge in tens that is 10 by 2 well this is the source from clarkson university which i referred while making this video in this there are other NACA series too and their calculations also but we will be seeing the 4 and 5 digit series as it is most widely used in aeronautical field. If you want to study this document then link of this is provided in the description that you can check it out. This is NACA 4 Saris and its description. Now comes the NACA 5 digit series. And there are NACA 6 series also. NACA 7 series. NACA 8 series. Here comes the advantages disadvantages and their applications. NACA 4 digit airfoil series has Good stall characteristics Small center of pressure movement across large speed range And have little roughness effect But the main disadvantage is that IT has low maximum lift coefficient And has relatively high drag and high pitching moment These airfoils can be seen in General aviation aircrafts. Horizontal tails. Symmetrical airfoils of the series are used in high speed jets, helicopter blades, shrouds, missile or rocket fins. NACA 5 digit series airfoils has 
high maximum lift coefficient. Low pitching moment. Also has little roughness effect. But the main disadvantages of these are. Poor stall behavior. Relatively high drag. These are used in. General aviation aircrafts. Piston powered bombers and transport aircrafts. Commuters. Business jets. NACA 16 series airfoils has. Avoidance of low pressure peeps. Low drag at high speed. But the main disadvantage is. IT generates relatively low lift. And use generally used in. Aircraft and ship propellers. NACA 6 series airfoils has. High maximum lift coefficient. Very low drag over a small range of operating conditions. Optimized for high speed. The disadvantages are. High drag outside of the optimum range of operating conditions. High pitching moment. Poor stall behavior. These airfoils are mostly used in. Piston powered fighters. Business and supersonic jets. Jet trainers. Well this is up for today guys. I hope you understood this presentation. If you have any doubt or queries or any suggestions please do mention in the comment section. And please do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.